Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. Oh, we've had to take a bit of a break again because we were very busy doing other organic things, getting other projects sorted out. Mainly, of course, our uh, organ recording that I've been telling you about for the past couple of months. And as is usual, when you're relying on other people to help you doing things, it takes forever. So uh, yeah, we've been working on that. But I am very uh, optimistic that things will still be delivered on time for Christmas. I promised you that the CD, for those of you who bought it in advance, I promised you that it would be out shipped well before Christmas so that you get your copy. So I'm still optimistic, fingers crossed, that that will still happen. So yes, that's update number one. Update number two, we have been spending the last few weeks recording a number of pieces for the next few videos. Obviously, it's Christmas time coming up, yeah? It's the beginning of December, so we're in the start of Advent, and outside it's freezing, which means in the churches it's freezing, which means the tuning of the organs is an absolute disaster. So we thought about that in advance, and we sort of recorded bits of music in advance that we can then use for this horribly cold period. Now, it's not really cold here tonight, the fire is raging away in the background, and I'm about to start sweating profusely. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we were back in one of our favorite churches, which we featured a couple of times already. That's out here in the Westerwald in Germany, in Gartenbach, home of that wonderful four manual English and French hybrid organ. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, we recorded a few improvisations there in the last few weeks, and we'll be presenting those over the next couple of weeks up to Christmas. We, of course, have some other wonderful things there, but what I actually wanted to talk to you about tonight before we head off to listen to some organ music is something that's rather close to our hearts. And when I say our hearts, I mean my wife and mine. Um, in the last few years, we've uh, sort of always tried to do something good for Christmas. And um, we've sort of gathered presents and, you know, little sweets and toys and things like that, and we've put packages together for kids who have to spend Christmas in hospital. And over the past few years, we've donated to three or four different hospitals around Germany, to the sort of children's wards, um, and, you know, tried to help them out. It's not a very nice time for the kids, and certainly not for the families, you know, to have to spend Christmas in a hospital bed. That's really not very nice at all. So we tried to sort of make it a little bit easier for them. And this year, my wife had a wonderful idea and she set up a GoFundMe campaign. You'll find details of it down below. There's a link. Now, the site's in German at the moment. Uh, so if you watch this, like, in the next 10 minutes, it's still going to be in German. But I will sort of update, uh, update it and put an English version of what we're doing there as well so you can see exactly what's going on. And the idea is this year that instead of just sort of with our own funds donating to one German hospital that we might sort of open it up to you, our loyal supporters around the world, and um, you can help out as well, which would mean we could uh, donate to more hospitals and we could also maybe donate some more interesting things. Uh, we, we always, every year we ask the, the children's wards, you know, what do the children sort of want? Is there anything we can help them with? And sort of the, the, the sort of general theme behind it all is, well, you know, it's nice for them to get sort of toys and books and magazines and, and sweets and things like that that kids always love. But these days, in this day and age, kids want to sort of spend a, you know, it's a bit of a boring time in hospital, so they want to spend it as, as modern as possible. So they want sort of little, you know, little things connecting them to the internet. So we had the idea this year that we might buy some little tablets for the kids and uh, see if we can get, you know, see if we can get them equipped, as it were. So that's one of the ideas we've had, that kind of thing. But as I say, down in the description there, you'll find the link to this GoFundMe campaign and we'll keep everyone updated. You know, once we've talked, we're in talks with two or three hospitals at the moment, we want to maybe get a fourth one in as well. We've obviously got to try and sort of, you know, coordinate this before Christmas because we like to go there ourselves. Uh, we don't do this sort of publicly with press or anything like that. We do it very anonymously in the background. Well, obviously not anymore now that you're involved. Um, but uh, we don't make a big thing out of it. We just sort of go there, present the, present the packages to the hospital authorities and then let them do it. We don't actually go and sort of, we don't go and walk around the children's wards ourselves. Um, we don't want that sort of publicity, we just want to help. That's what it's all about. So if you feel that that's something you would also like to help out with, we would of course be most grateful. And like I say, we'll keep you updated and posted on what's going on over the GoFundMe site down below. Thank you. 
and now for a bit of music. As we said, we were in Gattenbach at the organ uh, recording some improvisations and one of those improvisations is, oh I'm not sure if you're going to get this one, the English speaking community at least, it's, it's on a sort of, it's a, it's a German hymn. Huh. Um, but maybe you will recognize it, maybe there are people out there who recognize it. I'll give you a clue, it's a modern church hymn. Um, and I've sort of improvised around it in a sort of a sort of nice sort of calm, relaxing sort of advent style. And um, if you recognize it, then feel free to comment below. And if you get it right, what I'm going to do is, well, from the English version, I'll choose one person. From the German version, I'll choose one person. And if you've got it right, I will choose someone at random who will then receive a copy of our new CD when they're finished as a little sort of, uh, little sort of, prize, as it were. So, yeah, have a look, see what you think. If you recognise it, let me know. And, uh, yeah, good to be back. Hope you enjoy our little video today, and if you feel inclined, please do support our Christmas campaign for the kids in hospital. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. We'll see you next time with more organ music. But until then, bye-bye. <laughs>